Hey everyone, today I'm at my home in Northern California and I am drinking one of the wackiest, coolest, funkiest wines that I've had all year long. It's a nearly 50 year old Riesling from Sonoma County. And this is the bottle. It's a 1976 Chateau St. Jean, Alexander Valley, Johannesburg Riesling, individual bunch selected late harvest Beltaire Vineyard. I can barely get that out in one breath. But back in the day, Chateau St. Jean was all the rage. This is back in the 70s and 80s, back when Richard Arrowwood was there. He was doing a lot of things with uh, individual vineyard bottlings of Chardonnay and Riesling. Some of these wines were absolutely phenomenal. And I had about 20 of these uh, Rieslings. I'm down to my last one. And uh, I thought I'd share the experience with you since once this is gone, it's, it's gone for me. Uh, now, the term Johannesburg Riesling is no longer used. That term was really common back uh, many few decades ago. Back in 2006, that term was faded, phased out. So Johannesburg Riesling is something that you won't see unless it's, it predates 2006. Now, I think back to what was going on in 76. That was the year that the Bicentennial was happening in the U.S. Happened to be the year that Apple Computer was established. Uh, it was a year that the first Rocky movie came out. But in California, it was a drought vintage. And, you know, drought vintages now seem to be much the norm. That was not the case back, back many decades ago. But 76 was a drought vintage. And the vintage tended to produce wines that were very, very concentrated. Now, there's a couple of other bits of information on the label that I think are noteworthy. It says the natural sugar at harvest was 34.0 bricks. Residual sugar of the finished wine is 15.4 bricks. And the alcohol level is 10.3. Uh, the back label also says it was affected by botrytis. So no surprise there. Each bottle is individually numbered. This one is number 757. No clue how many bottles were produced that particular year. Obviously, it's a 3.75 as well. Uh, so when you pour this wine, the appearance is a bit startling. It is brown. It is heavily oxidized. Uh, you know, a wine like this, in many cases, you would think is dead, gone, buried. That is absolutely not the case with this wine. The aroma is incredible. It has a roasted almond character to it. There's a candy peach pear uh, characteristic as well. It smells a little bit like cloves. And there's also something there that reminds me a little bit if you've ever had a whiff of a cardamom pod. It's the coolest, most interesting aromatics imaginable. And you can see when you give the wine a swirl that it clings to the glass. So there's a lot of residual sugar here. And the wine has this intensity to it that is astounding for something that's this old. And the taste, the wine is rich, it's ripe, it's got amazing length to it. It has presence up front, mid palate, back palate, it just goes on and on. It's absolutely stunning. Now, the longevity of the wine is attributed to a few factors. One is certainly very good fruit quality. Two is a skilled hand in making the wine. But three is the acidity level. And recently tends to be very high in acidity. We're talking primarily tartaric acid. It does give that wine a lot of potential longevity. The residual sugar is also a contributing factor. And the other piece is the storage of the wine. If the wine is being stored in very good conditions and it's consistently in that sort of uh, environment, your potential for, for long-term success in aging a wine goes much, much higher. If you get the chance to try an old Riesling, absolutely give it a go. They're some of the most interesting wines in the world. They're also some of the most undervalued as well. Thanks for sticking around to the end of this impromptu video. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell, you'll know when the next video comes out. Also hit the like button. All of these things really matter as I'm trying to get this YouTube channel up and running. Comment down below if you wanna tell me something about some old recently experiences that you have. I'll read all the comments as well. 
Thanks so much for sticking around. Until next time, I'll be somewhere out in the wine world. Cheers.